Hello everyone, welcome back to the Film Farm. I'm back with another fun and interesting video. Before getting into it, subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any fun video. Without any further delay, let's get started. There are movies that are so amazing that you simply never want to ascertain them again. Movies to observe once you want to feel better, and films with endings so good that you can't stop talking about them. But there are also movies that people swear by. So, here are top 10 movies everyone should see at least once. And our list starts with Number 1. The Shawshank Redemption The Shawshank Redemption has an epic emotional storyline that we will all relate to. Because it focuses on the human psyche, because it relates to friendship, the film follows two imprisoned men. Andy Dufresne, played by M. Robbins and Ellie's Boyd, Red, Redding played by Morgan Freeman who bond during their time in jail. Freeman's smooth, deep voice is stellar and gives the movie the organic feel it needs. This was also director Frank Darabont's breakout work, who went on to become one among Hollywood's finest. Aside from the critical acclaim and long list of nominations, the movie also plays on some interesting issues. Many have noted it to be an up-to-date twist on existentialism. It also plays with aspects of Leo Tolstoy's work, God sees truth, but waits. But more importantly, it's an impressive movie about friendship, which will cause you to want to call up your alley and tell them that you simply love them, while wiping away tears as the credits roll. Number 2. The Dark Knight, 2008 Superhero films nearly always portray some quiet battle that spills out into the town streets with stunned onlookers watching because the character battles a cool supervillain. The destruction is chaotic and over the top, but feels completely without penalty or repercussion. The Dark Knight portrayed destruction in a way that made audiences feel both uncomfortable and unsafe. The carnage wasn't only realistic but plausible. Watching a hospital being raised to the bottom with bombs is simply one example of the real-world tension provided by the film, which made audiences invest more attention and devotion to what was happening on screen. The iconic first origin story in Nolan's trilogy established Batman far differently than the comics or previous films did. He faced all of the challenges and technical hiccups that came with creating his suit and gadgets, from a nasty run of face masks to imperfect body armor that left him susceptible to damage. The Dark Knight continued the theme by bleeding Bruce Wayne into the mix in a way he never expected. An employee of the company even found out that Bruce Wayne was Batman and intended to blackmail him. Lucius Fox ended up plugging that specific hole, but it had been one among many who a plausible superhero would need to deal with. It also addressed a glaring plot hole about the character. At last, some must watch in a great movie, so don't miss out on this one. Number 3. Inception, 2010 If the prestige is the key to understanding the films of Christopher Nolan, then Inception is the apotheosis of distomography. Nolan's singular heist movie weaves together his two main dramatic interests, time and lies. Set during a world of dreams, Inception uses the essential premise of a heist movie then bends it to pursue a search of the lies we tell together to create something bigger than ourselves and seat the catharsis we can't achieve on our own. Nolan does this not just within the heist genre, but really making a movie about movies. He tells a story using his preferred mode of storytelling that permits him to bend time through the edit and find acceptance within the fictions we tell ourselves in order to live. Number 4. Shutter Island, 2010 Why are you all wet, baby? This question takes on eerie resonance throughout Martin Scorsese's masterful 2010 adaptation of Shutter Island, which turns 10 today. It's uttered both in flashback and within the present by different characters with different emotional weight whenever. It's also a part of the key to unlocking this film's strange, disturbing pleasures. At first glance, Shutter Island is centered around a jaw-dropping third-act twist associated with its lead character, a sweaty and determined U.S. Marshal on the hunt for a missing patient at a spooky mental institution on an isolated, stormy island. But if you recognize the story tolerably, you come to the belief that what's revealed within the third act isn't a twist in the least, and is just a clarification of what makes this film so tragic and so special in Scorsese's filmography. Number 5. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, 2001 There is a whole book handling the various positive spiritual aspects of the film written by Kurt Brunner and Jim Ware called Finding God, within the Lord of the Rings. For example, displayed throughout the entire movie is the idea that evil is addictive and consuming. Characters eager to use the ring, which was created for evil and is evil, for positive purposes find yourself in their own self-destruction. 
many creatures from diverse backgrounds close during a fellowship to undertake to destroy the ring. Gandalf says during the movie, there is only one Lord of the Ring who can bend it to his own will, and he doesn't share power, indicating that folks who give their souls to evil won't tend power but be enslaved. However, the film does contain an outsized amount of violence, also as scary scenes and pictures. That therefore, I wouldn't recommend seeing the film with young children. Number 6. Interstellar 2014 One of Inception's most pulse-pounding action set pieces takes place at a towering snowy fortress. It looks alpine, but it's actually the third level of a series of dream layers, a dream within a dream within a dream. Boasting a ski slope shootout, gun-toting snow speeders, and a huge explosion-turned avalanche, it's breathlessly exciting stuff, a brain-bound bond sequence, and yet, for all the thrills, it strikes at the very thing that I struggle with when it comes to Inception. Like that mountaintop lair, it's grand and impressive, but also icy and impenetrable. If you are a science fiction lover, and nerdy in general, you cannot miss this. Number 7. Gladiator 2000 The film loosely supported real events that occurred within the Roman Empire within the latter half of the 2nd century AD. As Ridley Scott wanted to portray Roman culture more accurately than in any previous film, he hired several historians as advisors. Nevertheless, some deviations from historical fact were made to extend interest, maintain narrative continuity, and for practical or safety reasons but it's a complete masterpiece. If you are a fan of history-based movies, you are missing out on this world go and watch it. Number 8. Star Wars Episode 4 A Replacement Hope 1977 A male child dreams of adventure and a princess rebels against an evil empire. The fate of the galaxy is forever changed when Luke Skywalker discovers his powerful connection to a mysterious force and blasts into space to rescue Princess Leia. Mentored by a wise Jedi Master, and opposed by the menacing Darth Vader, Luke takes his first steps on a hero's journey. Number 9. Inglorious Bastards, 2009. In German-occupied France, a young Jewish refugee named Shasana Dreyfus witnesses Colonel Hans Landa slaughter her family. Narrowly escaping together with her life, she plots her revenge several years later, when German war hero Frederick Zoller takes an interest in her and arranges an illustrious movie premiere at the theater she now runs. With the promise of each major Nazi officer attending, the event catches the eye of the bastards, Lieutenant Aldo Rain's ruthless group of Jewish-American guerrilla soldiers. As the relentless executioners advance, and therefore the young girl's plans are set in motion, their paths cross for a fateful evening that changes the war and history forever. Number 10. Scheindler's List, 1993 This movie was sensational. It was a bit of art alongside being informational. It told people about the Holocaust, and it also told people about the human spirit. It shows how people can just conquer anything with just a little help from one person. The items that Spielberg did with the movie were incredible too. The black and white was genius, and therefore the way he had the small girl in red, and the fire was phenomenal. I have never seen anything like it. Scheindler's list is beyond all words. These were my list of the top 10 movies everyone should watch at least once. Did I miss any of your favorite movies? If yes, let me know in the comment section. With this, I'm wrapping up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. See you soon with another fun video. Till then, take care, stay safe.